What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'll be showing you five Wix features you probably don't know about because they're fairly new and they will help you improve your website as a whole. Hey, if you are brand new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content here on the channel and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. It's a pretty exciting place to be. We only continue to grow thanks to you. I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit, but really it's only been since last week. I've been super busy in this pilot sales training program for this new sales training company my father and I are launching, and I'll have more details on that when we do. But other than that, let's jump into these features because I'm sure you're chomping at the bit ready to learn about them. Okay, so today's features, a lot of what we're going to do is going to be in the Wix dashboard. And a lot of people don't actually spend a lot of time exploring the Wix dashboard because if they did, they would realize there's a ton, a ton of features in the Wix dashboard that they had absolutely no idea even existed. And my goal is to hopefully shed some light on some of those features today. And if you guys feel like you'd like to see more of those features that you have no idea exist or you didn't know certain things could be achieved, let me know in the comments below. It's much appreciated. And as always, if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button or that like button, go ahead and smash that like button too for YouTube's algorithm and show the channel some love. First and foremost, what I'm going to show you is Wix analytics. So now I'm going to make a quick distinction. Yes. Am I someone that still believes Google analytics is the ultimate for gathering data for your website? Absolutely. But what I will tell you is Wix analytics is good for internal tracking on things such as contacts, um, email marketing in terms of gathering uh, email stats, and also just some basic site session stats. So if you just need stats at a glance really quick, what you'll do is you'll go over here to your Wix dashboard and you'll see a send by Wix and you'll see analytics and reports. If you click that, we'll click it and it'll default over to traffic. So it would show you a traffic overview of what your website has done in terms of sessions. Now, just to show you this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my website, Wix Training Academy, because honestly, I'm very transparent um, with this data. Uh, it's nothing all that high priority, uh, high classified or secret or anything like that just the uh, report data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to pull that same report for you so you could kind of see live in action what it looks like. And again, this analytics report is good for analytics at a glance. So you could see it actually allows you to compare your data to this same time period, whatever the time period is you chose. So for instance, uh, this was from January 25th to February 23rd, 2021, compared to December 26th to January 24th, 2021. So it's the last 30 days. And you can choose here uh, some different defaults on what time period that data is shown over. Are you choosing just today? What's today's data? The yesterday, the last 7, 14 days? Or you can actually go to custom as well and select a custom date range. And you could even do year to date and there's a few more as well, last 365, month, quarter, year, all that good stuff. So you can get some quick analytics at a glance, and what's nice is they give you a traffic overview, they give you a sales overview, and then they also give you a people overview. And this is specific to if you have members or contacts, or you even have leads or customers on your website, and you'll have a tile to be able to track that. You know, how many contacts were added, how many new site members were added, how many leads were added. And these are all trackable numbers, and that's what I mean by using Wix's analytics to track that more internally. Whereas Google Analytics is gonna give you all of your keyword research data, what people are searching, where people are coming from, um, your audience, uh, you know, demographics, psychographics, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be more in Google Analytics. Google Analytics is just much more advanced and it collects 
tremendous amounts of data. It's quite insane, actually. So that's analytics. The second feature I'd like to touch on is automations. I actually did touch on this in my previous video, but I think it's important to touch on. So if we go over here to our sidebar on our left and we go to customer management under Ascend by Wix, we could click automations. If you are not currently using automations, I highly, highly encourage you to start using automations. The reason I say that is because they will make your life so much easier. For instance, if I go to new automation, you can choose what the trigger is. And what I mean by the trigger is, for instance, let's just say we use members area as the trigger. And we choose when a visitor signs up to our site. So when a member joins our site and then we can choose what happens. What happens after that? Do they get a welcome email? Uh, send an email to that contact? Is a task created internally for you to review and then you have to send out maybe a welcome gift or send them a handwritten note? something of the nature. So then you would click that and it's going to create a task and then it's going to ask you what type of task. Uh, write a note. We're just using some examples here. And then you could choose, is it assigned to a particular person on your team or is it going to your full staff? And then you could choose from all the people that are contributors on your website, typically staff, what role they have and who it gets assigned to. You could choose a due date and how many days following do they have to complete that task. And then you can have this immediately trigger after a person's registered for your site or you can set a custom time like a day after or two days after or a week after. And then you can also limit it if you want it once per contact so they're not sending tons of handwritten notes to the same contact, you can choose once per contact. And then you would press activate. And that's how you use automations. And that's just an example. I mean, look at all the triggers you have here, Wix forms, workflows, challenges, pricing plans, inbox, get subscribers, data, price quotes, invoices. There's so many triggers you have. So if someone submits a successful invoice, do you send them a welcome um, or a thank you or a confirmation email. Uh, if someone is getting their first invoice, they just became a client, do you send out a, a client gift? What does that look like? And then you have the ability to customize that so you can do it internally and it's automated so it's not having to be done manually every time. So something to look at with it, Wix automations. So the third feature you probably don't know about is actually tasks and reminders on Wix. So I just actually touched on this with the automation. So if we go to tasks and reminders, um, what we did is when a new subscriber gets added to your website, we wanted a task to be generated to send a note to that particular subscriber. So you can actually now use tasks and reminders. So now what Wix is kind of doing is they are literally creating an all-in-one business suite for you to manage your entire online business and really your business in general right from your Wix dashboard. So they have tasks and reminders. This is now like a project management system because if you come over here to tasks and reminders, by the way, this shows all of your tasks and reminders. If you created a new task, you can come in here, you can write the task, so send a thank you note. You can assign to whoever you'd like to on your team. You can add a due date and you can even link it to a particular contact on your website. So maybe send a thank you note to this person and automations will automatically assign that contact. So that way it's done for you. It's automated. Hence the beautiful thing with Wix automations. So it has the power to do that, but this tasks and reminders has now created an internal project management system within Wix, whereas previously you had to go outside of Wix to even entertain the idea of project management. Um, don't get me wrong, tasks and reminders is great and it's nowhere near a complete all-in-one project management software as a whole, but it is on track to be able to start producing those same results. So it's something to look into when you need minimal task management and minimal project management done inside of your business. This is a totally viable way to go about doing it. So tasks and reminders. Hey, if you guys are enjoying the feature so far, please drop a like down below. Don't forget to comment if you'd like to see an additional one um, because like I said, there's a whole lot of features you probably don't know about and they are totally worth reviewing because they can expedite your workflow productivity and help your website. Okay, so the fourth feature we're gonna touch on is workflows. So once again, um, 
we're going to go to workflows. Similar to tasks and reminders, this is another way to kind of manage different systems and aspects in your business. For instance, Wix has a default workflow right here for sales leads. There's a lead created, the lead is contacted, a quote is sent, an invoice is then sent, it's paid and completed, and then it's archived, etc. You can actually come in here and create custom workflows for different aspects of your business. So if we went and press new, um, you can either add a step in the existing one, add a card in the existing one, or create a workflow. When you create a workflow, you can actually choose some of these pre-made workflows here, let's just say sales leads, hiring process, uh, help desk, website design, online store, business meetings, site members, to-do workflows, or you can start it from scratch. So if you just press website design, you could come in here and you can choose, let's just say you're a web designer, you want a workflow for web design, you get a new lead, you're going to reach out to that new lead, you're going to negotiate with that lead, uh, you're going to get a deposit for your site, you're going to, likely you're going to add a, a card here that's working through the site or reaching out to the client, gathering client details, you're going to build the site and then the site's going to be ready and then you're going to get your final deposit and complete the project as a whole. And like I said, you can add a step in here or you could come in here and you can rename uh, a step, add a step, do whatever you'd like to do. And then if you want to add a card, these are like different uh, sub steps within a step, if that makes sense. So in negotiation, X, Y, and Z is also going to happen. These are your cards. And so it allows you to create custom workflows. So now you can track workflows as well as add tasks and reminders. So you can see where Wix is going here with this whole um, project management side of things and really creating that all-in-one business solution and management system right in your Wix dashboard. All right, guys, and the last and final one we are going to do, number five on the features you probably don't know about is badges. Now, I have touched on badges previously, right? I've touched on badges previously in my videos. So essentially what badges allow you to do is they allow you to spark engagement on community-based website. If you've got members, if you've got a blog, if you've got a forum, anything community-based badges are good for because it drives incentive to actually engage. For instance, so if we go here to manage badges, uh, what you'll do is you'll actually, you'll stay in your customer management and you click site members. And then if you click manage badges, you can come in here and you can create a badge. And so you can choose what the badge name is, just say, um, yeah, you could just do rising star as Wix's example. And then you can say contributed five forum posts and so essentially people are like okay I want to get the rising star badge I want to collect as many badges as possible because it allows them to stand out in your community so for instance they have to contribute five forum posts in order for them to be a rising star you could even add a particular color for your badges you can even add icons for your badges if you'd like and then what you would do is uh, you would come in here to your permissions and you would enable it on members only pages if you've got members only things um, that's just optional uh, you don't have to add permissions and then you could come in here and you can assign members uh, on their own if you'd like so you can click me Aha, I'm a rising star and click add and you can manually assign them otherwise they'll get them as they go and there's a functionality like I said that will track the members badges but all it ultimately does is drives engagement on your website to increase the community aspect of your website so you really can't go wrong by offering badges and it is one of those things that people aren't entirely aware of yet on Wix. So if you guys enjoyed today's content, I hope you did. Again, these were five features you likely don't know about at the moment. Uh, if you did, good for you. If you didn't, I'm glad that I got to deliver you some new features. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. Comment if you want me to go deeper and do a, a more in-depth video on all of the features that you likely don't know about because I promise there's a bunch because Wix is constantly adding lately new features and then don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on you'll instantly plug into the largest wix training community on the internet and if you want some free wix training as well as some paid courses uh, you can head over to wix training academy.com click join the academy 
that is totally free. You register and you get access to a bunch of free resources. There are a couple paid resources over there as well, uh, some courses. So if you'd like to check that out, I highly encourage you to do so. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching today's video and I'll catch you in the next one.